Hey, what up? This is Shagun. You can call me Shags. I want to talk about music for a minute. So I don't know what kind of songs you got on your playlist, but my playlist, three quarters of my playlist, is mostly 90s hits. Like, I'm talking most of them is actually boys to men. But I am partial to a few rock hits. Specifically, I'm thinking about the band Evanescence. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Wake up. Wake me up inside. That song was my jam. Lead singer Amy Lee is apparently crying out because something inside her is dead and she's hoping that someone or something brings back to life this thing that she's lost. Now that song may be true for some Christians today. I mean, you probably started out in your Christian faith on fire for Jesus Christ, but that flame is barely a flicker today. You know, it may be that it's a sin that has you on lockdown or it's a trial in life that's just overwhelming you or just plain life is wearing you down. You may find yourself in a spiritual slumber and you're just hoping and praying that something or someone wakes you up inside. Well, there's a church in the book of Revelation, um, Revelation chapter three, that was going through the exact same thing. They were called the church of Sardis. <laughs> I used to think that the Bible actually said the church of sardines. That's neither here nor there. Jesus says to this church of Sardis, I know your deeds. You have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Y'all need to wake up. And then he goes on to list some very practical steps for how to go from being spiritually asleep to being alive and on fire for his name. On my blog, shegsandstuff.com. It's a nice blog, by the way. You should check it out. I've actually taken Revelation chapter three and I've fleshed out step by step for how you can go from being just a flicker in your faith to being on fire for the Lord Jesus Christ. I also talk about in it what it is that causes a Christian or a church to actually get asleep or to fall into a spiritual slumber. And perhaps most importantly, I talk about what Jesus Christ has in store for those who actually get awake in your faith. Check it out. The link is in my bio right there. The address once again is shegsandstuff.com. Thanks for listening. Catch you next time.